but about a thousand gold lead already just three minutes in. And of course, that is going to be somewhat because of forward being able to get the four bounty runes. But FNG thinking about going for the ice path connects and oh, they're going to find first blood. But the turnaround, FNG oh. just going to walk forward and not even that afraid. They're, they're pinging MSS. They want to chase him down with that soul assumption. It's a lot of damage out there. Immersion still chasing, has another round of the stun if he wants to use it. And looks like they are going to be able to connect onto MSS, find themselves a second kill and FNG still living through the tier two towers. But it looks like the fight is going to happen. Morphling moving into position. They still have the Doom available. Going to go with the Infernal Blade, the Roar to turn it back around. They kill off Afro Ninja. He does have buyback and is going to use it. Going to TP back into this fight as quickly as possible. MSS controlled and they find themselves the kill onto Rezo afterwards. When he pops back out of this, he should have Rage available if he wants to chase forward for Immersion. Finding that kill, Universe under control in this Doom, doing so much damage to the big, strengthy, takey heroes. Yawar needs to back out of there as well as they get the lift up onto the Doom. No more BKB available for him, so now they can control him with a Bruce Blade and everything else. FNG trying to find an Ice Path off cooldown in one second, but the E-Blade comes out, they blow up MSS, and now Resolution needing to run away. Dahak has done so much on this Vintage, and with the buyback coming from the Morphling, it looks like it's enough to control forward gaming and chase down. Although, actually, Gambit also getting in so very tanky. low. He's living through this one, and Resolution pops Rage, turns to fight, wants to kill him off badly, but as you said, he is so tanky, he has the stick charges. The E-Blade's not enough as they go for the Infest Bomb to blow him up at the end, and now Resolution, finally, the last one standing here in this fight is gonna go down. SVG also gonna be ran down here as well. Forward gaming end up losing out on a hell of a lot of these heroes. That's so nicely done by Gambit. Even though Morphin did not have a TP because he just TP'd back to Shrine, he walked back to the Steam fight and they man oh, buying back, oh hype God. it up. They're going in. Want to chase down Mr. Resolution. The boat buff is not going to connect onto him. Running away for the moment. Afro Ninja also backing out of there. It's a good amount of the cleave there onto Immersion as well, but. Uh, Mr. Kunkka is now under control. He has been stunned for half of his life, and you are eventually just dies. Resolution comes back in, no longer doomed, and going to be able to find the shackles. They kill off Doom instead. As FNG, four staff away, trying to run, but they got the hex. They got the follow-up. Forward gaming streaming across the map. Right, that's, that's your own teammate. What? Oh, God. It was all an elaborate bait. A, a, a ruse to try and control and get the Doom back into here. Doom in trouble, and he dies in the crit coming from Yawar. They lose three, and this might actually just be the game over if they're not careful. Into some type of a kill, but instead they're going to turn onto the Luna. They don't have any Storm Spirit follow-up right now, though, as he is in the mid lane instead. There's kind of Omni Slash Immersion. Does have Stick Charges still trying to walk away from it. And the spin comes out. Immersion, not able to draw that aggro in time. Damn, it's so worth it. But look for, at this. For Gambit, they <laughs> just did what I mentioned. They're in the Roche Pit with Vlad's Ursa. Oh, Dragonite blanking in. A big play. Universe went for the Sprout, but they bring in this Storm Spirit as well. Going to be able to find that catch and the stomp. Are they going to be able to get it? Snatching the Aegis. It is going to be on the Ursa. So they got the kill for forward, but I don't know if that's going to end up mattering all that much as SVG under control. Afro Ninja moves forward. They have the Eclipse out. Almost killing off the Storm. He needs to get up to the high ground. Or to the get a hand of Midas. He picked up the damage talent. Oh. Extra damage on Orchid. They caught their oh. man. The Huck gets the kill. Meanwhile, an Omni Slash comes out onto FNG. So he will also go down. And now Yuar wants to find that kill, but he's gone very far forward. And the break, the Impala connects. Afro Ninja on top of him, finding the kill. And now Dahak chasing forward, seeing if he can take down MSS. They're going to make their way to the shrine, but that is not going to save you. That's Everybody <laughs> is going to go down here. Resolution, no TP on his hero. So he moved into this one. The Electric Vortex pulls him back in. And a double kill for the Storm. Making it happen. I mean, okay, so you again, you think back to, to sort of what, oh God, they're TPing into this one. They're going to go for the duel and find the kill on the resolution. Almost goes down, but not quite. And you know, all the nature's profit ulti comes through immersion, gets his eyes on MSS. The jump forward, the stun comes out onto Dahak. This could be an okay kill for them, but the long duration lift comes out onto resolution. And now Storm Spirit, he's in the battle. And Afro Ninja able to clean it up as he TP'd to the shrine. Very low mana at this point, though. Does have stick charges up again in a second. SVG, does he die? One more bash gets the kill and still chasing forward for more. Alpha Ninja inside the Sprout with Universe finds himself another 25 Bloodstone charges on this Storm Spirit as they pull back in the Dragon Knight and are going to bring down Yawar. 
Tahak has done so much in this game. 13 minute face boost, hand of Midas, and uh, oh god, and the blink dagger. Afona just jumps they can't in. kill anyone. There is a dead resolution, a dead Luna. They do find the stun onto the Storm Spirit, but he dies immediately afterwards. Another pullback in a second. There are no buybacks. Dahak chasing into the base, and GG is going to be the call as everybody is going to die. Storm Spirit Dota. It's happening.